Hey, it's Monday and I'm Midja. And for the last few weeks, I have been at my desk finishing my third book, Take Off the Cape. And it's been a huge job. And finally on Friday, it's into the editors, super excited. And of course, over the last few weeks, my kids have also been at home, homeschooling. And I think looking to me as some source of entertainment for them. And last week, my 15 year old daughter, Sophie, she comes up to me while I'm writing away. And she's like, mom, you're just so boring. And I'm like, me, boring? I mean, what an insult. But her comment reminded me of a Christmas party many years ago now. So every year, this group of friends has five families and we hold a Christmas party every year. There's a big feast, drinks, champagne, and also a secret Santa. And this year, my friend's daughter would have been, I don't know, maybe three or four, and she was so excited about secret Santa and her name was called out And she ran up and got her present and opened it up. And inside was a beautiful little junior cooking and baking set, which I thought was super cute. Well, she looked at it and she threw it on the ground and she said, boring, boring, boring. And then she ran. And we just laughed. Her mum was mortified, but we just thought it was absolutely hilarious. And you know what? For me, like I love writing, but when it comes to that tedious part of getting a book together and the sequence right, you know what? It is boring. It's not my favorite part of my job. I love to speak and mentor and coach and facilitate and be in front of people But you know what? I know that I have to write in order to have something to speak about. I have to get books out there. It's just part of the gig. And you know what gets me through that boring part of my work, the hard work that it seems like I'm, you know, dredging through it? It's having a vision and keeping that front of mind. So for me, while I've been writing this book, I've been thinking about having the book in my hands, being able to flick through it. I've been thinking about the book launch and wearing the cape and the mask and my glass of champagne. And I've been thinking about being up on stage, doing the keynote. And that, that that vision is what has got me through this. And it is so real in my head that it feels like I could almost just reach out and touch it. I can feel what it's going to be like. And as a leader, your job is to create that vision for your people because your people are going to have to do stuff in their job that they don't actually like. You know, every day, all day is not rainbows and unicorns and sunshine. Hopefully you love your work. But there's going to be parts of it that you go, "Mm, this isn't floating my boat. (laughs) And it's your job as a leader to inspire and to motivate your people and get them through that tough times and out the other side and create a vision for them that they can feel and see and hear and keep that front of mind. Give them something to look forward to that power of anticipation. Because sometimes, you know what? Work is just boring, boring, boring. I am, I can, I'm Midja, bye guys.